Hey guys, what is up? Teen Hustler here, back at you with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys my haul for Saturday, June 18th. Picked up a bunch of cool stuff throughout the day, so let's just dive right into it. So the first sale, I got there around 7.30. They opened up at 7. I did wake up a little bit too late yesterday. Um, woke up around 6.30 as opposed to 6, so I was 30 minutes behind schedule. So I didn't end up getting the video games that were at the sale, but I did pick up other stuff. The first thing that I got was this Apple uh, earphone. Um, these are brand new, so I paid paid three bucks for these. I could probably get like ten on eBay or something, um, but I might keep these for myself actually because they're pretty good. Next up, I picked up this book. It's Biostatical Analysis, fourth edition. Um, the person had a bunch of like college textbooks, but they were relatively old, so they weren't worth much. But she did have this one. This one is about $23 or so, so I'll be flipping this. Uh, I paid 5 bucks for the both of them. Um, the next sale I went to had a bunch of video game stuff. The guy was asking a lot for it, but I... He was really like tight on his prices, so I tried to work out a deal with him, but like he was really like... He wasn't, he wasn't really up for haggling, but I picked up two guides. Um, the first one is Star Ocean, the second story. And these guides are in relatively nice condition. And the second guide that I picked up was Front Mission 3. And I paid $80 for everything here, so I paid a lot of money, but hopefully it'll be worth it. We got Disgaea 2, Cursed Memories. Ape Escape 2, The Ark of Nafitism, Front Mission 3, Star Ocean, This Gaia, Hour of Darkness, these are all complete with the manual, and Tales of the Abyss. So these are all like in mint condition, they look like he never even really played them. So that's why he was really firm on his prices. Alright, so the next sale I went to, they didn't have any video games, but did end up picking up a camera. Um, this is a pretty nice camera. This is the Coolpix S9700. Um, comes with the box. The box is a little bit beat up, but the camera is in there. The only problem is that the shutter, um, this part of it, it doesn't close when it's off. Um, it opens up when it's turned on, but it doesn't close by itself. So it's kind of just like flapping around. So I don't know how much I can get for it. I paid $35 for this. Um, Amazon is about $200 used. So hopefully I can end up fixing it. And if not, I'll probably just flip it on Craigslist. So the next sale I went to was a six-family, multi-family sale. They all had like their little booths. So I went to each booth to each booth. Um, the first booth, I ended up picking up everything for $30. I got this Star Wars crochet set. It sells for, I believe, around $18 on Amazon, so we'll see how much I can get for this. It is opened up, and the packaging is kind of damaged, but the girl never actually used any of the stuff, so hopefully I can get maybe around $17 for it. I also picked up four games. Um, I don't know why I picked up three of these, but I just, I just picked them up. We got 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa, Call of Duty Black Ops, Virtua Tennis 3 and Winning 11 Pro Evolution Soccer 2007. I thought this might be worth something. Um, I still don't know if it's worth something. I haven't checked yet, but we'll see you later once I post the prices in the corner of the screen. Um, my mom got these two. Um, she got two board games for six bucks. We got Payday. This is complete with everything in it. And Operation Despicable Me edition. Um, unfortunately, it is missing the minions and it's missing one of the little pieces. So I think I might have to sell this back at a garage sale or something, but we'll see. I forgot to mention that I also picked this up in the $30 lot. Um, this is a like a record player. Whoops. This is a record player. And it's electronic and it like does like MP3 or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think these are around $50 on eBay or Amazon. So we'll have to see how much I can get for this. I have, to do, I have to do a little bit more research on it, but I'll let you guys know once I put up the prices in the like in the video. Alright, and at the last booth I picked up this Gundam. Um this Gundam like figurine set. Um 
don't know anything about these. I just know that people collect them, and I checked on eBay, and, and this guy was about 50 bucks. But some of the pieces, um, the lady, like, took out, and he, she, like, started building it. But, like, not, like, 99% of this is brand new, so we'll have to see how much I can get for this as well. And another thing that I picked up was this. It's one of these, uh, Big Mouth Billy Bass things. This is electronic. I think I can probably get around $15 for it. I paid two bucks for this. So for the next sale, I drove up to this like richer neighborhood and I picked up a couple things at a garage sale. So the first thing that I picked up was this D-Link Extreme N Pro Media Router. I believe I paid $35 for everything I'm about to show you. So I don't have individual prices, but just know that I paid the $35 for everything. So I believe this is running for around like 90 bucks or so, I'm not entirely sure, I have to double check on that. I picked up this other one, it's a smaller one, but it's still going for relatively high, I believe maybe around like $20. I also picked up a bunch of video games from him. We got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, Fear 3, these are all complete, Spider-Man 3, I know this one was a good game. The Battle for Middle, the Battle for Middle Earth Two, The Godfather Two, and if you guys see this game, pick it up. It's still holding its value really well. Just Cause Two, and this one I'm not sure why I got. I just got it. Kane and Lynch Dog Days Two. It's a lot of two games, and then I also picked up. Uh, a couple things that were from me that I won't be showing in this video because I'm not I don't I'm not planning to resell them, but a bit but I did pick up this scanner thing. It's this um, visionary visioneer strobe pro scanner. Not entirely sure how it works. Um, yeah, but this guy is going for like ninety bucks on e on Amazon. I have no idea why. I got two of these. This one is out of the box. But I have one that's brand new in the box, not used like at all. Go ahead and show you guys real quick. There it is. This is the brand new in the box. I think this one might be for the Mac. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but this is. But but this was a really good pickup. The last thing that I got from that sale that I plan on reselling is this Coolpix S630. It's in the box. The guy said he used it like five times. And everything is in here, the manuals, the CDs, everything, and the camera is in decent condition. There is a little bit of scuffing on it, but I can probably get around 80 bucks for this. Alright, so at the last sale, um, I bought a bunch of video game items for them. I picked up some of the stuff I don't have here in this room with me, but I did pick up a slim Xbox 360 console. Um, he gave me the wrong power adapter, or he couldn't find it. It didn't come with a controller. However, it did come with a brand new Kinect. It's not an original box because the Kinect came with the bundle with this Xbox. And all the consoles that I got came with, came, came with its original box. But um, the only problem with it is that it's missing the hard drive on the bottom. And it's also missing like the plate. So I'll be ordering one of those on eBay unless I can get like a broken one for cheap off of eBay. So we'll see. I also picked up a Wii console right here. Um... The Wii is in pretty good condition. It didn't come with the AV cable or any controllers or the sensors, so I have to find it as well. It, however, the system did come with the original box, which is nice. I also picked up a PSP from him. He actually threw this in. Um, it wasn't originally in the deal, but it's a 1003 PSP. Comes with comes with two games, but they're not really valuable. It's Virtua Tennis World Tour. And the second one is um, some racing game, Toka Race Driver 2, if you guys are interested in knowing what it is. Um, this didn't come with the charger either. I also picked up a huge stack of games from him. So the first game is PES 2013 Pro Evolution Soccer. This is sealed. UFC 2009 Undisputed. This is also sealed. Forza 2 Motorsport. Not sure why I picked this one up, but Crackdown. PES 2011 Pro Evolution Soccer. This is sealed on the Wii. Now, this was a nice find. Final Fantasy Fables Koboko's Dungeon. Never found this game on the Wii before. And, and, that, and that one is also sealed. 
God of War 3, Time Crisis, Blaze, Raising Storm, CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, Fatal Conspiracy, this is not complete, Table Tennis from Rockstar Gaming, Transformers The Game, Earth Defense Force 2017, Star Wars 3 The Original Trilogy, and Dead to Rights Red Retribution. So all together for that bundle, I paid $100 for everything. I might have overpaid a little bit, but we'll see how it pays out. The last time I went to, um, this person was actually supposed to hold games for me, but they didn't end up doing it. And I was kind of mad because I drove 40 minutes back down to like where I usually garage sale to pick them up, but she didn't end up having them. So I ended up picking up two games from her. Um, we got Lego, Lego Rock Band that she had left. It was like it was like 11:30 or so. Complete. Uh, she was asking two dollars a piece. I should have I should have asked her if she would do two dollars for both of them since she didn't end up holding the games for me, which was kind of annoying because she said that she was gonna hold them, but I don't know what happened. And the second game is Major League Baseball 2K12. Um, if you guys don't know, this game is actually semi-valuable still because this is the last one that came out, I believe. So if you guys see this game, pick it up. It's about 20 bucks on Amazon. So that is it, guys, for my haul video. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Also, if you have any questions that you want to ask, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you shortly. So I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!